Hi guys, this is Nutrix Distant Guy and today I'm talking about how to use the A01 from Roland as a media interface for your iPad. One of my subscribers asked me basically um, how to use actually this as a Bluetooth interface for sending from a different keyboard. If you only have this with no keyboard, how do you use an external keyboard that has no Bluetooth interface into this, into the iPad. Well, actually, I wasn't sure about how to do it because I have the keys that I hook up to this when I want to play, but I was wondering. So I tested it out and here's what I found. Well, first thing is let's do the, I'll put a headphone so I know what I'm hearing when I'm doing this. In this case, I'm going to actually use a, <laughs> the S, E02 from Roland. I'll have another video about it very soon. Uh, so I'm turning this on and I'm actually using a MIDI cable. I'm going to hook it up into the A01A, uh, the A01 into the input. Okay. I'm going to turn this one on. Now it's on, but it's not connected to anything. So it's just on and the Bluetooth is blinking. So I'm going to go into my iPad now and the I know that sometimes the A01 do, do not connect with the iPad. Even if I try anything, it just does not connect. Sometimes it just does not connect. So the easiest way to actually hook it up to the iPad, I found, is to actually open Gadget from Korg. So if you don't have Gadget from Korg, it's not a problem. Get the Gadget free. I will put the link in the description. But you download Gadget free and then you can at least turn on Gadget, right away this will be seen as the interface. So I'm going, I'm going to Gadget. Gadget, you'll have the little corner screen saying found Bluetooth device rolled in A. I'm going to click here and say yes, that's what I want to have. Uh, where is it? Here. I'm going to connect to this one. Now it's connected to this. You see the light is blue, does not move anymore, so it's linked to this one. And then I go from my keyboard and I I play you. Well, there's nothing coming in. Okay, let's go back into my software. Let's load a sound module and let's activate the MIDI input. I get sound, so. I got something. I can actually use this to enter notes. And if I do, uh, let's say I don't want to use gadget anymore. I turn it off. Okay, turn it off. And then I turn on, turn on whatever I want. Let's say I want to use, uh, what, what should I use? Let's load uh, the iMini from Arturia. And then... It works. It works. So from the moment it's actually linked together. Now there might be a question about the MIDI channel. Yes, so you have to verify that you're in the right MIDI. In this case, I'm on channel one, and I have to verify that in this one, I'm also using channel one wherever it is, but you need to be in the same channel or put it into omni mode, meaning it's gonna receive any channel. So it should work. So if you're trying to use this and just the, I mean, the A01 as a media interface, it becomes easily one if you connect it correctly. That's it. Hope this helps you guys and uh, stay tuned because this is the one thing I'm actually testing right now. So soon you'll have a SE02 review test and, you know, tour. Cheers, guys.